Hello and welcome back to another lecture on syntax. In our previous lecture, we introduced binding theory. In particular, we talked about types of noun phrases. We said that there were three types, anaphors, pronouns, and R expressions. We explained what antecedent means and indexation as well as co-indexation. In this lecture, we dig a bit deeper into binding theory. We discuss what is meant by binding in particular. Stay tuned. There are three principles that govern how these three types of NPs, R expressions, pronouns, and anaphors, can have their distribution within a sentence. But first we need to find out what binding is. Now in our previous lectures we talked about a notion called C command. If you recall from our previous lectures on C command, we said B, C command C. And the reason we know that is because you can go up only once. So we got to here to another node, so that's once. And then you can go down as much as you want. So B, going up once and then down, C command C. But you can go down as much as you want, recall. So we it also, B also, C commands D and E. But C also C commands B. Because, as well, we can go up this way, and then down once, or as, or as much as we want. So yes, C also C commands B. A does not C command anything, because first we have to go up once, either this way or this way. And if you notice, there's nothing left to go up to. D or E cannot C command C, because we would go up, but then we have to go down at least once, and we can't go down anymore. So that was a quick review on C command. Binding now basically is C command plus same index. Same index is kind of like this. John told Bob that he was tired. Sorry, John told Mary that he was tired. If John is I and Mary was J, we want he to be I. Does John bind he? First of all, like we said, we need the same index. So yes, here's I and here's I. Now when two NPs have the same index, we say that they are co-indexed. Co-indexed means that they have the same index, I and I. So then, really binding is C command plus co-indexation. So let's draw this tree out and see if we have C command. So for review, let's break up this sentence and see how we can draw a tree. So that he was tired is a CP. Mary is an NP. Told is a verb. And John is an NP. Our TP would have an NP and a verb phrase. Here's our verb. And here's a noun phrase. And here is a CP. This CP is made up out of a C, which is that. And a TP, which is also made up of an NP he, a VP. V was, and then adjective phrase, tired. Great. Now, our concern was to see if John binds he. So, if we give it the same index, I and I, then co-indexation will be fulfilled. Now, all we need is C command. So, does the NP now, we're looking here at the NP. Does the NP here, C command, the NP he? Let's see. We go up once. And now we can go down as much as we want. So we go down through here, and here, and here, and here. So yes, John binds the NP he, because they're co-indexed, and John C commands the pronoun he. Now what about in the sentence where we saw only one possible interpretation? Mary's mother hit herself. If you recall, we said that herself can only refer to Mary's mother, all of this together. It cannot refer to Mary alone, and it cannot refer to mother alone. Now, why is that? Well, now it's going to seem pretty obvious to you. We said that to get binding, we needed both C command and co-indexation. Now, we can try to co-index the anaphor with one of our options here. Now, one thing we need to really make sure of is where we place our index. The index does not go on herself, but actually on the NP that represents 
herself. So it's the entire NP that gets the index I. Hello here. Where do we put our index? If we put our index on this NP, then we cannot have binding because like we said, we got co-indexation now, but we're going to miss the second criteria needed, which is C command. Recall that in C command, we have to go up once only. If it's this one we are targeting, then we would go up once, and then we have to go up a second time, and that's not allowed. Therefore, this NP does not C command that NP. Now let's try this NP. And there's a reason why we chose this one, not this one, because we're only dealing with noun phrases. Does this NP C command this one? Let's see. We go up once. Great. And now we can go down as much as we want. So apparently, yes, it does C command it. And it has the same index. Therefore, the NP Mary's mother, all of it, C commands the NP herself. And therefore, the only interpretation we can get for herself is Mary's mother, not just mother and not just Mary's.